I'm Oscar and I'm Dan. We're two boys from Sweden trying to visit a hundred countries before the end of 2022. In this episode, we're in Sri Lanka, taking one of the coolest rides of our travels so far. Hello guys from beautiful Sri Lanka. I'm here with Samir and we are on our way to the Nine Arch Bridge, which is a train bridge that we're gonna be going on tomorrow. It's a very steep downhill climb. Looking forward to doing this in the opposite direction afterwards. You must have done this hike so many times, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so while the Nine Arch Bridge was built during the British colonial era in Sri Lanka, it was actually built by a local Sri Lankan construction company and it was finished in 1921. I can see it down there. We're awaiting the train. They said originally it was supposed to come at 3.20, then they said 3.30, now it's 3.38, and um, we're waiting. <laughs> okay, it's 4.08, and it seems like it's finally coming. I was actually closer to 420, 421 to be exact. It's so funny with Instagram spot tourism where people are just like piling up waiting to get that one shot, you know? I mean, it is really, really beautiful. We can't wait to actually be on the train tomorrow. And good morning, guys. It's 6 a.m. and we're ready to head to the train station and hopefully get our first class tickets. That's the hope today. Yesterday we checked and there should still be spots left in first class. This will be really fun to check out on this train. Let's hope and pray it still happen. My biggest question is, is getting up at 6 a.m. worth it to take a train? Let's see. The checkout process has been quite slow. So under normal circumstances, I would be a little bit like, okay, we need to go. Like we need to hurry up. But I know this train is usually late and we're in Sri Lanka after all. So I think we should be fine. <laughs> I'm not too worried. Some people have been here since five o'clock this morning came for the tickets. We're definitely getting local privileges now with Samir kind of helping us get in front of the line. Uh, so I've been feeling not super amazing. I took two uh, COVID tests uh, just to be safe and they were both negative, but I have a little something. I don't know. I'm a bit congested. I feel very tired. Oscar has got first class tickets. It was about $10, he said. So this is all great. I'm usually the planner, so I love when I can just sit back and let other people plan for once. Bye car. See you later today. Look at that. Wow. It's so funny how like a local train can become such a touristy experience. It's like the iron ore train in Mauritania, so many people do it. For what? Like, you did this for what? Like, I'm not the biggest like train person, but we'll see how beautiful the ride is. I'm sure it's that's what draws people and not the actual train because being on like a rough train just for like, hoo, 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 I had that experience doesn't make sense to me. Two thousand total. Yes, yeah, so one thousand. It's five dollars each. Uh, yeah, about. Wow. <laughs> about. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, Guys, you better put your hat on. This is like tourist central. Yeah, yeah it really is. I'm so excited now. I was kind of nervous we wouldn't get the ticket for a second, but we got it. Last time we took first class on a train was in Switzerland. That's still our most viewed video at this point. I think this is going to be maybe a quite different experience. Probably much better value for money, no shit. Better value for money, <laughs> definitely. But still different. Attention, please. The Udaratamani Express train traveling from Badu to Kalambu Fort will arrive at the exchange shortly. It looks very nice inside. All right, Samir, see you later. <laughs> see you in a while, yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah, okay. Oh, 
It waited for no one. Okay, what seats do we have? 12 and 11? Here. <laughs> this is it. Welcome on board, everyone. Let's show you around. I mean, there's not much to show because this is very, like, high standard. So it's kind of there's nothing really shocking like when we went, took the train to Uzbekistan. That was something. Yeah, we have a little tree table. Actually, probably a better table than we have on trees. So we have a little drink holder. We have like a little headrest to see the clients. There's a footrest. There's really nothing to complain about. We even have TVs. We have the overhead shelf with space for quite a lot of luggage. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it's going to be really interesting to see what second class and third class maybe are like as well. We'll see if you can give you a quick tour of those as well. But this is the coolest part of the train. Stop. It's kind of tempting to get off the train when it stops and like just run around on the tracks, but I know that if I don't get back on the train in time, I'll be screwed. Okay, so always interesting and fun to see what the toilet is going to look like. Quite normal toilet seat, yeah, not too bad. Yeah, I am touching this, but I am using hand sanitizer afterwards, so don't worry. There is a butt shower. I don't know what the proper word for these are, but I always call them butt showers. There should be seat covers in here normally, but this sink is, first of all, so low. I have to like bend down to even reach it. And then it's also quite small, but um, oh, you also have to press this continuously for the water to flow. I think the worst thing about it is that the floor probably hasn't been washed in a while. But yeah, other than that, not bad. Yeah, it's an okay bathroom. Okay, so I can't get back to the third class cabin, but the second class cabin I can, so this is what it looks like. Heaven in a package. We're overselling it. It's nice as vegans to know that you can depend on at least one snack internationally. <laughs> so. I'm an invitation for more open doors and trains all around the world. This is amazing. Definitely the highlight of our Sri Lankan trip so far. I'm sorry Switzerland, but the Glacier Express has got nothing on this.
Here's third class. Even third class looks super nice. This is just a nice train, I guess. Bye train, it was very fun knowing you. Most tourists stay on it from here because they go all the way to Candy, but the train actually goes all the way to Colombo. So it's a really long ride. I don't even want to think about how many hours that will be on that train because it moves quite slow. Also, it's so freaking cold here. I need a jacket. It is so hot. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There There's Samir. <laughs> nice. That literally could not have gone smoother. We weren't delayed. He's here waiting for us. Yeah. So lucky. Wait, were we on time? Like actually? Yeah. Ju just a, yeah. That okay. is pretty remarkable. <laughs> Guys, we made it to Edinburgh. Ooh. I was gonna do a Scottish accent, but I, I'm not gonna that do it. Sound. I can say two things in a Scottish accent: Lawrence Chain and Ellie Diamond. Next time on Oscar and Dale. Let's start with some chai. Does that happen often? Yes, it's fun. Yeah. We're just in the middle of the cloud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.